Hello guys, Matsmas here with you today. Thanks for joining me, I really appreciate it. So today we're talking about mine clearing, and in particular, the British Army's version of mine clearing, otherwise known as the Python Minefield Breaching System, and is basically used to clear routes through minefields for vehicles and units to go through. Now, this system is freaking impressive and extremely powerful in being able to knock out very large amounts of land very, very quickly. Now, this is an incredible piece of technology because it really is saving lives, not that only of military forces, but also of that of civilian lifestyles. You gotta remember guys that the majority of these systems that are being put in place are not to take out actual minefields, but really to take out potentially very large IEDs or improvised explosive devices in places such as Afghanistan that you're looking at right now. Now the British Python replaces the giant Viper and has the ability to clear a safe lane in minefields from 180 to 200 meters long and 7.3 meters wide through which vehicles and people can pass. The system works by firing a large single rocket from a launcher mounted on a 136 kilogram trailer which has to be towed to the edge of the mined area by the beautiful Trojan AVRE or Armoured Vehicle Royal Engineers. This was developed by BAE Systems to meet a requirement of the UK MOD and development contracts were awarded in 2001. The vehicle was basically designed to give the demanding needs of the Royal Engineers to be able to do combat engineering all across the battlefield. That includes clearing minefields. And the design of the new Python system really did sit quite well with this vehicle considering that really it requires a rather large vehicle to tow it and a rather robust vehicle to be able to withstand potentially any attack on the front line when trying to clear minefields. Clearly, this vehicle, as you see right now, proved itself very, very useful in dealing with IEDs within Afghanistan. I myself was unfortunately never able to see these vehicles in action using this particular weapon system, but it's an extremely effective piece of equipment to be able to deal with large areas of land that could potentially hold IEDs that could pretty much destroy entire armored vehicles. Once the trailer has been towed to the edge of the mined area, a rocket motor consisting of the L9 250mm 53kg rocket is attached to a 228m long hose packed with 1500 kilograms of P6AL explosives, basically high explosives. After the hose lands on the ground, it detonates and destroys over 90% of the mines along its entire length. The 10% that are not destroyed are simply pushed aside to safety. It can be used in tandem to defeat double impulse mines or mines of greater depth. It also contains a 9kg high explosive substitute at the end with a 0.9kg booster of PE4. As you can see, Python was used extensively with operational tours in Afghanistan using the Trojan. During Operation Mushtarek, the Royal Engineers attempted to use this traditional mine clearance equipment to counter the ID role in support of the major British Army advances. With the British Army replacing the conventional TNT hose with an insensitive munition explosive, it makes the system highly resistant to bullet attack that could trigger a detonation, making it safer for the troops using it.
there you have it guys, the powerful Python mine clearing system. And to be honest guys, we don't really ever want to be using this against actual minefields, because if we are, something has gone very, very wrong. However, it is able to prevent and save lives in terms of ID blasts, and that is something very close to my heart, because I have lost friends to these horrible crude devices, and if we can make systems that prevent them from killing others, that's something I'm going to stand behind 100%. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned something a little bit about this mine clearing device. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. All the best. Bye-bye.